गॉड्स को विसर्जन करने के लिए आज्ञा प्रदान करें श्रीमान
Jayanta, IBS, IGP, John 2, Sri Anun Ramanesh, DIG Range 3, Sri Mangubin Sir, DIG Range 4. I sir, one now, the address to in a function, you are warmly welcome, sir. I also welcome all the officers of the district in a function. And once again, welcome everybody here. So, brief input about our report, our action. The traditional policing has always been focused on being at places of wrong at the right time, sir. The contemporary policing, rather, it focuses on proactive action that is being few steps ahead of the crimes and the criminals. In order to ensure the availability of personnel on ground, to ensure uh, the proactive policing is being taken care of, uh, under the leadership, under the guidance of our SP, we have identified 29 patrol points in our uh, description. These patrol points will be manned by personnel from uh, BDF posts, PS teams and the CDO teams. And uh, uh, in order to check the deployed personnel, we have lost this absent. The physical monitoring is resource intensive and a manpower intensive. In order to address this challenge, we have launched this digital version of uh, patrol uh, monitoring. System. The supervising officers of the district, they will manage, monitor the deployment remotely using their mobile phones and their computers. The app provides real-time location of the deployment enabling us to optimize the manpower on the ground. Sir, so this app, we are using uh, GPS-based location tracking. Unlike uh, in other initiatives where we have bought the device, tracker device and we have installed in our phones or in vehicle, here we are using the mobile phones of our patrol commanders as the tracking device. Sir. So we have cut down the capital expenditure on that front. And uh, in this app, we have created two user groups. The first user group is the end users, the personnel on ground, they are the end users and the other user group is the supervisory officials. As of now, we have made all GOs of the district as the supervisory officials. Whenever uh, the patrol party commanders, patrol party, party commanders, whenever they are visiting, when they are on duty, they will log in into the app. Once they log in into the app, the app will start transmitting their location to the server and the server again maps it on the uh, server and the supervisor officials when they log in they get real time exact location of the patrol teams on fields. Okay. What is the red map for? Sir, yes. the red location is a uh, police station sir. Okay and the, pat the patrol parties and here are OCs are here sir. Nabakata Sharma number OC is here. His phone is uh, connected to the app. So his location is indicated in a circle with a blue, blue and red colors. Okay. In Jaipur, Kuno, we have a team from Nikon Post uh, deployed there sir. It was Mahomet, the the connectivity you know, also, no? it depends. It depends on data connectivity sir. Because this is database and also GPS-based. GPS-based. Vishnupur, luckily we have no shadow zones for uh, network communication. Mm -hmm. I would like to give a presentation on Tourist Police Vishnupur. As we all know, uh, Vishnupur district has some of the major tourist attractions in the, in the state. So it was felt appropriate that we launched for the first time in Manipur a Tourist Police unit in our district. Tourist Police Vishnupur was launched with a vision to enhance the safety and security of the tourists visiting our district and to render them policing service. We have two units of Tourist Police Vishnupur. One is the Sandra unit and it is to be deployed at Sandra. They will cover the area from uh, our Sandra crossing to the foothills of Sandra. And another is the Mylon Composing unit and they will be deployed at War Memorial and Park East Museum Mylon Composing. Our tourist police will be wearing this high visibility vests with the inscription Tourist Police Vishnupur at the back and Manipur Police logo at the front when they are on duty. They shall be equipped with walkie-talkie sets and body-fitted loudspeakers when they are on duty. 
There shall be an arm, but arm support will be provided by our district also. And also they will be provided by bicycles for easy convenience. So the duties of the tourist police mission for is to prevent crime and maintenance of law and order in the tourist destination.
of the name of the name. Right side. DGP's commendation role with this is awarded to Sri Manoj Prabhakar, IPS SDPO Vishnupur, in recognition of his contribution in developing the mobile app Police Watch for Manipur Police. Hello Manoj, sure. uh, your SP just informed us and during the function also that you are the brain behind the functioning of rather the development of the app, uh, what is it called? Patrol Watch. Patrol Watch app and and uh, can you tell us like how it was done and what is your role in that? Sure, uh, I got an idea when I was going on a regular patrol uh, checking duty, I thought if we can simplify the process it will be better for our uh, personal or officers to focus on other other problems in hand mm -hmm. so that was the idea then i shared with our sp and uh, sp sir asked me permitted me to go ahead with it then i contacted uh, my alma mater v8 university uh, there are students uh, who are part of the google development center they are doing it freelancer uh, development works for apps okay. so they i explained them i sent them a concept note and uh, then uh, the process started oh. development process started. Oh. And anyway, uh, that's a great initiative sure. and congratulations. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. So, here is a congratulations for developing the mobile watch app uh, uh, by utilizing the good service of your STPO uh, Manos Prabhakar. <clears throat> so, can you tell us in what way this is going to be useful? Actually, sir, this will be useful in many ways uh, in the deployment of our boys in the, on the, uh, in the field. So whenever we uh, do one ROP, we have to deploy various team in at various places, okay. which are far apart from one another, mm. and it will it is uh, very difficult for the physical uh, monitoring of those teams. Now we will be able to monitor it from my mobile set, from the mobile of the supervisor officer. Mm -hmm. In fact, all the gazette officers of this district are. Uh, Supervisor, supervisor officer, mm -hmm. they can monitor the locations of all those teams deployed mm -hmm. from their mobiles. Okay. So whenever we want to make changes of the locations mm -hmm. from one place to another, we can uh, communicate with them by, through mobile phone or uh, WT set. Okay. Similarly, whenever we go for one operation, mm -hmm. coordinators operation, mm -hmm. we it is very difficult to coordinate uh, an area mm -hmm. and uh, to see where they, the Cordon parties are located, okay. but now too we can just uh, open our uh, app and we can see the locations of the cordon party. Then we can ask the cordon party to see from one place to another, so that uh, there is effective cordoning and such operations. So in fact, this is uh, literally cost-free and uh, it will be very effective in the half. It will be replicated in the other, other districts, districts also. So yes, thank you. That's really good. Uh, this also means that in, in, uh, if any incident takes place, the reaction of the force that are in the field, that are on duty, will be much faster, isn't it? Yes, sir, yes, sir. definitely. Uh, now they will not be able to say, I have breeze or I am, I am about to breeze. They have physically to breeze so that 
uh, the, the supervisor can officer can monitor whether time. he is uh, in real time, whether he is, he has reached or about to reach or okay. where is his uh, location. Anyway, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.